Hello, good morning. Young Ambition here, Lake George Single Shine. Um, I'm sitting outside of where I'm going to be working a little bit today. Uh, working, doing some cleaning on the roof, um, some power washing on someone's deck, and some various other cleaning things here at uh, a bar in town. He uh, just called the, the owner, overslept a little bit, so he's not, he's not here yet can't really get started and then until he unlocks the place so I can get up to the roof and stuff um, in the upper deck so figured I'd make a, a video while we are waiting um, want to talk about mixing uh, this was something that I think was kind of tough for me to figure out when I was uh, getting started so I, I'm hoping that maybe I can shed some light on some other guys that are getting started and how they're going to mix stuff. I'm gonna be talking about mixing chlorine because that's what I use. Some guys use bleach. Um, for me, I, I live in an area where we have a bunch of pool stores. Finding two and a half gallon jugs or five gallon jugs of chlorine is not hard for me to do. I don't know if you can buy, I don't know, I, w I don't know right now where to get a five gallon jug of bleach. Um, so right now my option for bleach is to go to Home Depot or something to that effect and just buy a gallon at a time. I'm not really interested in doing that. Um, the two and a half gallon jugs of chlorine are make it really easy to pour into the tank. Um, at the same time, the five gallon jugs are a little cheaper and you can carry more uh, with less containers. So whichever floats your boat, depending on what they got, sometimes I buy both or one or the other, but... Right now, I got a couple jugs of five gallon or five gallon jugs in the back, and that works. So, mixing it. What are we doing? When you look online, I find a lot of videos of guys talking about their mix, their pro uh, proprietary mix. Um, they beat around the bush. They don't want to tell you what's going on. Whatever. All right. Whatever. It's not that complicated. It's not rocket science. It's not a proprietary mix. It's only a proprietary mix really because it's different every time it's just how you mix it most likely i mean these guys aren't using anything crazy they're using water um some kind of uh, organic killer whether it's bleach or chlorine and a surfactant dawn dish soap tide whatever uh laundry detergent roof snot some kind of brand name that's all it is they want to sound fancy a lot of guys don't want the client knowing what they're using um I don't play that game. If people ask what I'm using, I tell them. Um, it's water, it's chlorine, and it's some kind of sticky solution. So, to make it easy for me, I have a 100-gallon tank in the back. I have it marked where 70 gallons level is and where the 100-gallon level is. I fill 70 gallons of water, and then I put in 30 gallons of chlorine gives you a 30% mix. Now, I'm no chemist. I haven't been doing this for all that long. All I know is that it works. It works for me. It's cost effective. I can 30 gallons, I think, I have to check my receipt. I think 30 gallons of chlorine might cost me $70, 60 bucks, something like that. Um, I think. And that 30 gallons uh, the other day I had one full tank the other day I had three jobs I think three jobs I made twelve hundred dollars thirteen hundred dollars and I still had Kim in the tank I still had I think I still had 30 gallons at the end of the day um, now they weren't roof washes they were house washes and they were kind of sizable houses um, so it used up a lot um, it used up a lot more than if you were just gonna go and spray the roof but again, I spent 70 bucks, uh, yeah, let's just say 70 bucks. I spent 70 dollars on 30 gallons of chlorine and made 1300 dollars. So I'm not upset about that. I'm not upset about that at all. Um, you can go lighter on your mix. Again, if you look online, people do different stuff. I am just doing what I do. Whether it's right or wrong, I'm doing what I do and it works. Um, you could maybe do 25 percent or 20 percent. Um, then maybe you're using less chlorine and your profit margins increase. I'm not here to nickel and dime. I know that some stuff 
can be on the building pretty thick. Some of this algae moss. So if your chem is too light, if your mix is too light, then you're just gonna have to spray again. So now you're wasting your time. You could be going to another job. At the 30% mark, I haven't, I haven't had an issue getting algae mold, whatever it is, off the building. Starts stuff starts to melt away. Haven't had any damage of plants or 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 the building. So the 30% is working good. Um, so what I would like to do in the in the future, what a lot of guys do who have been doing this for a while, is they have what's called a proportioner. Um, the proportioner really um, just helps you basically custom tune your mix every time for every job. So right now with my mix, I have a 100 gallon tank in the back. That 30% mix I'm putting on roofs, I'm putting on heavily um, heavily algae stuff, I'm putting it on light algae stuff. I can't control my mix right now. Again, I'm just starting out. This is uh, kind of like the beginner setup. And it works, it's gonna get you rolling, it's gonna make you a lot of money. As I get more uh, sophisticated here, a proportioner would be great. What the proportioner does is you have a tank for your chem, a tank for, um, or a hookup if you wanna use the uh, customer's hose for your water, and then you have a tank for your surfactant. And they all kinda of go into, they all come through the pipe um, oh, I'm sorry, they all come into each individual uh, area here. So you'll have one for, you'll have your hose coming into uh, an area for your surfactant with a valve, your water with a valve, and your chem with a valve. And when you change those valves around and you open them all the way or slightly, you can change how much water, chem, and surfactant is coming through your pump. So if you have a really heavy, dirty job, you can turn your surf, you can turn your uh, surfactant halfway, you can turn your water to where it needs to be, and then you can turn your chem up. You can turn your chem up to 50%, 60%, whatever it may be. If you have a dirty job, or I'm sorry, a not so dirty job, you can turn it down, maybe just a little bit of chem. If you don't wanna use surfactant, you can turn your surfactant off. If you just wanna th uh, flow some water for either a rinse, or to flush out your system, flush out your pump, turn everything off except for the water. Convenient, it's very convenient. I would like to have it and one day I will have it. I don't have it right now. You don't need it to start out. Um, it's something that would be nice and convenient. It is not a necessity. So don't get, and it's easy. If you're starting out and you're trying to look at some of these guys online, they're showing you these rigs that they've been working on for years. They've been showing you them these systems that they've been putting together for years. These guys have money. They have um, recurring revenue. You don't have that. I don't have that. I'm building that. It's coming, and so it's going to come for you too. So right now, you want to get profitable. You want to get going. You don't want to have to spend a lot of money. Don't worry about the proportioner. But keep it in mind because it will be beneficial one day. Um, and who knows, you might go out and crush a, a job and say, listen, I, I just made three, four, six hundred dollars $600, whatever. I'm going to update my shit, uh, update my equipment. Um, what you want to do is always be reinvesting into your business, reinvest into your equipment, into your system. Your pump is eventually going to fail. If you're flowing chemical through your pump, especially if you're doing like me, like a 30% mix, whatever it may be, if you're not flushing it out, um, by the way, if you check out my other video where I'm showing my uh, my setup, put in a um, put in a, a splice for the hose where you can hook a hose to it and flow fresh water through your pump and through your hose, and you want to do that at the end of every day, and it's gonna try to get it's gonna get all that uh, chlorine out and not let it sit there. It's gonna extend the life of your stuff, but it's not gonna keep it good forever. Your fittings are gonna go. On the end of your nozzle, on your hose, they're going to get gunked. Your pump's eventually going to fail. You want to be replacing this stuff. You don't want to get to the job and have something fail. That's why if you look at some of my videos, I carry two pumps. I carry multiple nozzles. And you want to just be ready. You know, sometimes you might have to leave a job and go get some stuff. But you want to have as much stuff there for backup. I can switch out my pump. I carry extra batteries. I have extra pumps on my truck. Um, extra fittings. So you want to be reinvesting in your business. But again, uh, 
you know, use some of that, reinvest, and get a proportional down their line if you want it, if you need it. But again, the point of my videos is to get you started with the least amount of upstart costs, get you profitable as soon as possible. I was profitable in my second week, okay? And that's what's really important. So I was profitable week two, and now I'm on week three, and we're looking at, um, I gotta check my, my Excel sheet. I keep all my jobs, my customers, their phone numbers, and an Excel sheet. Um, Again, it's a cheap option. Down the road, maybe I'll, I'll use QuickBooks or something, but Excel is free. It's easy. Keeps my numbers so I can contact them next year for an annual cleaning. Keeps everything nice for the dates and for tax season and how much I'm charging. And um, I think I'm looking at $7,500 in three weeks. Pretty good. Cash. Um, so... I'm liking it. I'm hoping you guys are doing well. I'm hoping you guys are getting uh, ready to get started. I hope these videos are helping you. If they are, please leave comments. Please ask questions. Please leave suggestions. I'm learning too. I'm no expert here. And uh, above all, like and subscribe. There will be more videos coming. Um, we got some interesting stuff. So see you next time.